In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the new form relationship import and export features that are part of the new Iris 4.2. It will be part of the upcoming point release of Iris 4.2.1. What we'd like to do is to export data from one Iris system, in this case the Guinea instance of Iris, and import it into a second Iris system, in this case the Liberia system. What we want to do is figure out what data we want to export. Uh, the way we do that is to build a relationship containing the data that we want. In this example, we're going to export the job and cadre data from Iris Guinea and load it into Iris Liberia. We begin by going into uh, the configure system page and creating a relationship that has the data that we want. we're going to do is we're going to start a new uh, relationship called job cadre export. It's going to be based on the job form. And we're uh, once we've created it, um, we will want to add in the cadre form to the job form. So we're starting with a job form. We've got our joined forms. We add a new child form. We go to cadre. We add the cadre form. and we are done. At this point, uh, we've created the relationship. The next thing that we want to do is export that data in the relationship. There's a couple ways to do it. this. The easiest way is to create a new page um, for the relationship export. So we go into the back to the configure system page. We go into our page builder. We create a new XML relationship page. Um, let's just call this export job cadre. It's the name of our page. We click update to create it. And we can see uh, once we search for the page name that we have a new page. We need to go in and edit the details. We click on the page and primary form configuration, and we choose the relationship that we just created, the job cadre export. And we want to export all the fields. We can choose to use the cached data if we want a very fast export or not uh, to use the cache from the hippo tables. In this case, we'll just leave it as is because it's a small um, import or export. Now you can get an example of what this export is for various cadres. So here's an example of the um, job and cadre export. Um, and in this case um, we have a job called non-post which is not linked to a cadre so we don't see any of the, the cadre details. We come back to the page, we look over the link, we see that the link is export job cadre with the ID of the cadre that we want. If we remove that ID from the URL, we will get a full export of every job with their linked cadre. Once we have that full export, um, which will take just a minute since we were not using the caches. Um, we can save this into uh, an XML file. It's 
we're going to call export job cadre. We'll put it in our temp directory, and we can then use that for uploading. So now we're ready to upload in our Liberia site. We scroll down until we in the configure page until we see import form relationship data file that we just downloaded, our export job cadre file. Um, and then we can choose whether we want to ignore the IDs um, of the, the exported data. So the data that we had from Guinea, the IDs um, we may or may want may not want to preserve the IDs of the cadres and the jobs. In this case, we're going to say we want to ignore the IDs of the um, the cadres, and that way it will generate new IDs. Um, this is useful, for example, if you want to uh, import um, data that is not uh, uh, unique, such as a person form. Um, the other thing that's going to happen is in the case of a list like cadre or job, it's going to try to validate the data and will make and before it creates a new cadre, it will look to see if there is a cadre of that same name. If there is, then it's not going to recreate a cadre of that same name. Um, so now we click import. And it's going through its import process. Um, at this point, we're done processing. We can see that we've processed 2,900 relationships. So this means 29 job form instances and the associated cadre. And we get a complete summary of all the imports of the records which in this case will be quite long. Uh, and when we go into the administer database, we'll be able to see the jobs that we've added. We can see the jobs that are in French are the ones we imported from Guinea. The ones that are in English um, are the existing jobs. In this case, we see the existing jobs in English in lowercase and the French Ghanaian jobs uh, in uppercase. We can also see the cadres that we imported. There's a new cadre called cadre 1, which we created as an example in the Iris Guinea page so site. And if we go to the Iris Guinea site, we look at the cadre list there. Looking at the cadre list in Guinea, we see we just have one cadre.